reason I wrote about dissertation writing is because it's near to, and dear to my heart. I was never a fluent writer, and in some ways that allowed me to really understand writing and teaching writing in a way that if it come easy, I would never have, um, I would never have been able to write a book on it. And uh, with the demystifying dissertation writing, I struggled as a writer. I especially struggled as a dissertation writer. And I wanted to read you my uh, first two sentences to get an idea of how I started the book. I have far too many writing memories that I would like to forget. I used to have a hard time sitting down to write. And then I go on from there. And though what saved me is when I uh, found, uh, he actually gave a presentation, uh, Robert Boyce, who's a, an expert on uh, academic writing and uh, faculty development. And he became my dissertation advisor. And then together we started conducting writing workshops and offering the first writing seminar in my doctoral program at that time. And that really transformed my outlook on writing. Sure, I could write a 10 or 25 page paper when I needed to, but writing a dissertation is, it's, it's a whole nother um, ball game in terms of it's 100 plus pages, it's your own uh, research project, and it often has very few external deadlines, unless if you're working very closely with a, a dissertation advisor on his or his or her program of research. And so every chance I've got, I've uh, done coaching with writers or I've uh, conducted workshops or seminars with dissertation writers. And I did one of those for eight years. And how the book came about was for each course session, I would write an outline. And then of course my students would ask me oodles of questions and want a lot more detail on what I meant. And they wanted examples and they wanted figures and they wanted me to show them exactly the practical steps of reading a slew of academic books and articles, creating a system for outlining where you can actually create useful outlines, coming up with a succinct idea that you can then uh, transform out into a long outline, a one page outline, a long outline, and then a long outline with references where you slight, slot in the what I call citable notes that you took while you were reading and then how you develop a regular writing routine going forward. And so year after year, I would write my outlines and year after year, they would get a, bit, a little bit longer and a little bit more detailed. And then um, one day, one of my students mentioned to me, why don't I write a book? Because basically I had written a book. And so that's how demystifying dissertation writing came about.